Hey, this is Jake over at Heartland Marine, Sunrise Beach, Missouri. I've got a uh, Monterey 254. I'm just going to kind of go over real quick on the inside and outside. Give you an update on what the condition is, what we're going to fix, what we're not, if anything. So seats on this L-shaped couch look good. There was one spot that I noticed on this back corner. We'll get that fixed. And that's just from this bar. This seat goes forward and back and it just kind of catches that seat. So pretty common. Uh, we'll see those on the Monterey's. Sunbed looks good. I do have some stitching that's missing. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but like right here, you see the stitching. And then if you use a harsh enough chemical, it'll actually dissolve the stitching over time. So like right in here, you just don't see the stitches. Uh, it's not all pulling away. And, Really, there's no issue. Um, got a little bit right here that's just kind of starting to separate, but just barely. So I can't really do anything about the stitching, but that one corner I'll definitely take care of. I've got some wear. Uh, this is where the back seat rubs against this portion of the wet bar. That's common as well. Um, I'll probably get that fixed. I'll have to check. Uh, I'm not going to say for sure, but I'll definitely find out. Captain's chair is nice. Uh, these do have the bolsters now i did notice on this bolster uh somebody had broke this so this is actually just loose and if you look here it's just a molded plastic piece it's supposed to be connected i just don't know if i can get this plastic piece and, and fix that if i can i will but I, I just don't know if I can even find that piece or not. Dash is nice. Let's see if the batteries were on, but we'll check the battery switch here in a second. Let's look at the head. Oh, it's got the uh, vacuum flush, which is a nice option to have if it ever gets used. storage compartment you got your tabletop CD player valve seats are nice just a couple small spots like on that sunbed where the threads are gone right in through here right here and then a couple spots on these other seats. But no real rips or tears other than that back corner. Let's lift up the engine hatch and see if there's a battery switch in here. So it does have the two batteries. Here's the motor, it's a 350 mag. I'm trying to see where those wires are run for the switch. I'm guessing maybe in here, yes. So battery switch is gonna be in the wet bar. 
Sounds like we've got power. Try it on just one battery. So battery one's down. I'm thinking battery two might be down, and when it parallels them, it's giving me just enough to give me the alarm, but just no power. Yeah, so I'll have to put a jump pack on it and figure out the hours. And then this seat does fold up so you can face forward or pull it back and lounge facing the water. Nice swing deck, got a lot of room. Give me a second and I'll uh, do a walk around to the outside. So on the exterior, um, I've got some scuffs and some scratches. Normally not a big deal because we'll take care of most of it, but unfortunately right now my Gelco company that I use, they're just so far out on a lot of this stuff. I've been having boats be over there sometimes up to two months waiting on Gelco to get done. So if you're okay waiting, I can get it done. I just can't give you any kind of a time frame. So here I've got Kind of a deeper scratch, it's not into the fiberglass. Same thing with here, a little deeper, but no fiberglass through it. Definitely got into a dock though. Couple minor little scuffs. No big deal there. Another little scratch. See anything on the bottom we'll walk around to the port side uh, I do have a few little spider cracks around this uh, cleat eye where they actually lift the boat up uh, from the factory but not a big deal that's just cosmetic there Outdrive looks good. I'm assuming that they'd hit something with the bottom of the lower unit at some point. They put the stainless steel skeg on there. Props are nice. A couple more scratches here in the back corner. Again, on the outside, if you want to wait, I'm more than happy to, to take care of those, but Again, I can't give you a time frame. I would say two months just to be safe. A couple scratches here. These are pretty light. This one's not real deep, but a little deeper than the other that are around it. And I've got one here in the nose. And then I got some light scuffs and scratches around this deeper scratch. These might buff out. I can't really feel some of these with my fingernail. It looks like there might have been a small repair right here. Just needs to get buffed. But I mean, overall, it's in pretty good shape. A couple small little things I got to touch up, but pretty nice boat. And I forget the year of this. Let's look and see. This is an 08. And a little fun fact on uh, the VIN numbers, the last two are the year of the boat, so 08. So yeah, this is the Monterey 254. If you have any questions, uh, my name is Jake, Heartland Marine, 
888-5-0. Thanks.